creating a sales invoice. In this example, I'm selling widgets, which I've already set up as a stock item. I'm selling some widgets to a new customer, so I'll create a new customer account with their details. Since I'm going to be sending them an invoice, I'll fill in all their information in the account's details screen. Since I already have their details in my contacts, I'll use the copy from your contacts option to make this quicker. To create an invoice from a new sale, tap the customer followed by add a new transaction. Since the sale is dated today, I'm tapping and holding the date field to speed things up. In this example, I'm selling stock instead of just recording the income, so I'll change the income account in account 2 to the product and set the quantity sold. Note, this fills in the amount field and details based on what I've previously set up in the product details screen. Tapping the PDF button in the sales entry form creates the PDF and displays it as a preview. To change fixed content such as the page size, your address, your logo, the customer details or the various text labels used on the invoice, tap Edit followed by Edit Fixed Content. When you're ready to send the invoice, tap Send. The standard iOS sharing pop-up appears, allowing you to send the invoice by email.